Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, what are constellations? Throughout time people have looked up the night stars with imagination. In the past our ancestors thought that the patterns in the stars were designed to reflect some of their heroes, gods and goddesses, and even stories that passed on from generation to generation. Today we call these star clusters and patterns constellations. As we developed better and better telescopes and society progressed, astronomers realised that the mythical creatures and gods were actually groups of stars. By 1925, the organisation called the International Astronomical Union established 88 constellations that would officially be recognised by all astronomers. If you look at some of the constellations, you might have a problem actually trying to figure out what our ancestors actually thought they were. I mean, to be honest, if you look at this part of the sky, you can't quite tell what you're looking at. What is it? I have no idea. The idea of constellations is a kind of connect the dots concept. Even though when you do draw the lines, the shapes don't look anything like the creatures. Constellations are drawn with an imaginary boundary or outline, and this can be used to identify them. Constellations are a group of stars in a particular pattern as seen from Earth. If you went to another planet, for example, you wouldn't actually see the same constellations. In fact, you would actually see a totally different pattern of a group of stars. The stars are actually in completely different locations from each other. And if we look at it from a three-dimensional point of view, we can see that some of the stars are nowhere near each other. But seen from Earth or a different perspective, they line up perfectly to show the constellation. It's very similar to a perspective piece of art. From one angle, it can look completely random, but from the right perspective, everything lines up and the picture is created. Since the Earth is moving around the Sun, we see all of the constellations in the sky at various points. In the past, people actually used this information to tell the seasons from one another. Many of these people actually use constellations to actually map and build structures to understand these constellations. And this was to observe and understand the movement of the constellations. In some cases, these maps were actually built to alert them when there was a change in the seasons. For example, when winter turned into spring. Almost every advanced culture around the world used constellations. And also navigating the oceans. Constellations were actually used to help ships from one location to another. The crew members on the ship knew how to read constellations, so that they could change course based on the pattern of the stars and where they were in the sky. There were a lot of famous constellations. For example, Orion, Leo, Gemini, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. But because we all live in various parts of the planet, we actually see constellations in different places in the sky. The names for these constellations have actually stayed from the past. This is simply because it's a bit of a tradition and they've already been established as these names. Even though some of them don't really look like what they're trying to describe. I mean, that doesn't look like a lion to me. But in modern astronomy, it's just a great way to navigate around the night sky. And for a beginner in astronomy, it's just a really good way to get used to how the night sky looks even though most of it is just simply dots and lines. So I hope that's given you a great understanding into what constellations are, and also these mythical creatures from the past, or as I call them, just simply dots and lines that look like lions, apparently. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.